remove your hats. You too, Ron. Once again, uh, let's have an overview. Sure. Kevin, well, thank you. Well, first of all, congratulations to Dave and Arkansas. They had a great year. Um, obviously deserve to move on. Wish them the best of luck. Um, as far as our team's concerned, um, you know, we fought all the way to the end. You know, this is probably the, well, it's not probably, it is the, the best four-year run in our school history. And, you know, these guys to my left were a huge, huge part of that. I think J.J. broke the all-time um, games played at Florida. He surpassed Preston Tucker. And obviously, Brady's going to go down as one of the best pitchers ever put on a Gator uniform. And, you know, we battled. And we battled. And then, unfortunately, there's only one team that's going to move on. And, and uh, that's Arkansas from our bracket. But, you know, I couldn't be more proud of our team. You know, it was obviously the disappointment on their faces when the last out was made. It was not easy. But um, awfully proud of the way they played this year, their careers. And um, I know there's a lot of disappointment right now. But, you know, we've got a lot of good players coming back, got a good recruiting class. And we've created something really special here at Florida. And, you know, you know we'll, the next couple of days will not be easy, but certainly proud of them. Where well, they handle themselves both on and off the field. <coughs> Um, it obviously goes a lot deeper than wins and losses, but, uh, you know, it's just disappointing right now. So. Okay, let's open it up for questions for the student athletes. And raise your hand, Mike, and we'll start with you. Uh, Mike Moore, the Orlando Sentinel, Brady. Um, I mean, Arkansas just seems like it's had your number for a couple of years. You know, any, any idea why it's, uh, it's been tough to pitch against them? Well, I mean, they're the – one of the best offensive teams I've ever faced. Um, I don't know. I feel like in a you know a career, you know, a lot of teams, you know, will do that to certain people. Um, sometimes you're just unlucky, but you know they're one of the best you know off offensive teams I've ever faced, if not the best. So, Eric, to the left. Eric Olson with the Associated Press. JJ, uh, I know it's been a while uh, since since you guys faced Campbell back uh, back in March, but uh, could you just kind of go through what maybe the difference was in him t tonight versus when he struggled so bad against you guys uh, back in March? Um, I would say he's throwing, he was throwing way more strikes and his fastball was playing up. It was a lot harder than the radar gun was showing, and I think that was evident by our swings. Um, he was throwing a slider at the right times, and he was playing it off his fastball, so it was a tough night for us. Aaron. Thank you. Uh, Aaron Fitt with D1 Baseball. Brady, you know, specifically tonight, um, what do you think was the key for, you know, for them to, to get to you a little bit early in the game? Or what, what wasn't working for you tonight? I mean, I think they were ultra aggressive. Um, you know, I threw some good pitches, but to capitalize on the bad ones. Um, I think that's what a good hitting team does, and you know, obviously they're one of them. But you know, I think I could have probably made some obviously better pitches. You know, um, you know, probably O2, um, especially. But they were just aggressive on, you know, like I said, the bad pitches. Teddy, right here in the middle. Teddy Cahill, Baseball America. Brady, when you think back, I know that. It's hard at this point, but when you think back to your, to your career, what what do you feel like is the legacy that, that your class has left at Florida? I mean, I feel like there's a list of things. Um, obviously, the national championship. Obviously, you know, the past four years um, coming back to Omaha. But, you know, I think the effort and the attitude and the confidence and everything that we showed on the field was just incredible, you know. To be a part of these past four years with these teams, um, it was something really special. You know, I think anybody and everybody, you know, on the team and a part of this group can say that. Um, it's just, uh, you know, extremely grateful for the past three years. And, you know, I feel like everybody did something to help. Aaron? JJ, kind of a, a similar question for you. I mean, um, when you look back at this season, you know, you, you, you had one national title last year. You, could have gone out and played pro ball, but what did it mean to you to come back and you know help this team get back to Omaha for a fourth straight year and reach the Final Four? What did that mean to you personally? Uh, it means the world to me, and the school means the world to me. And um, I don't even know how to put it into words. Um, God's been so good to me, and 
Um, just having the opportunity to play for a school like this. Um, you know, I'll be forever thankful for Soli and the staff for giving me the chance. And um, I thank God every day for putting me in this spot and giving me the stage to, you know, show the world how much God loves me, how much God loves every single one of us. And, um, you know, that's my real purpose, and that's what I really care about. That's going off his question. That's the legacy I want to I want to leave behind. Okay, have any more questions for the student athletes? Guys, thank you. Congratulations on a great career and great season. Okay. Players are leaving. Okay, let's open it up for questions for Kevin and her, too. <laughs> Okay, Mike. Coach, uh, what did you see was that, that Brady wasn't able to do tonight? And do you think that the, the four days rest had, had anything to do with it? I mean, to be honest with you, Mike, he gave up four runs over five. I mean, yeah. I don't think he pitched terribly. I think he made a couple mistakes, and they capitalized on it. I think first inning, I think they ran his pitch count up to close to 30 pitches. And I don't think it has much to do with Brady as it does their offense. I mean. You know, we had three hits the whole night. I mean, so, you know, you know, not to not answer your question, but I think Brady was okay. You know, I think sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the other team. And I think that's, I think that's the way I'll look at it. Okay, Mike. Mike Lopresti, NCAA.com. In the 20 years of national seedings, the number one seed has only won once and not for 19 years. Is that just a number or does it a vivid example of the parity in this game and how hard it is to win this thing? Yeah, I think it's twofold. I think it's hard to win. And I think, I, I don't know if you can, I don't think there's a whole lot of separation between the number one seed and the number eight seed. I mean, <laughs> you got to remember when, when these seeds come out, that's almost a month ago. And teams go through ups and downs and I said this when we first got here, when we had our press conference. If Auburn was sitting here and they, and they had won our Supers, they would have had just as good a chance to win this thing as, as we did. So um, I don't think the number has much to do with it. Um, this game is very fickle. It could change from, from game to game and from week to week. The way we played you know, yesterday and against Texas and tonight was certainly a lot different team than you saw when we first opened up here Sunday night when we played Texas Tech. I mean, it's just, uh, I, th I think the number in the seedings is really irrelevant when you get to this point of the season. And like I said, you know, we, you know, we played Coastal Carolina a couple years ago and they didn't win a national championship. I mean, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really think the seeding or the national seeding has much to do with it, to be honest with you. Eric over here. Eric Olson with the Associated Press. Kevin, um, could you just describe what you saw out of, of Campbell tonight, and, and was he better than you, you thought he could be? Uh, well, you want to answer? I'll answer it honestly. Yeah, a lot better than I thought. I mean, he, he had, I think, perfect game through four. Didn't walk anybody. Once we got him in a stretch, it seemed like you know he lost some of his command, but it was certainly a different pitcher than we saw in Gainesville. <laughs> that's for sure. And I mean. It was 94, 96, and he was pounding the outer half of the zone, and um, he threw just enough off-speed pitches to keep us off his fastball, and, and he was good. He was really good tonight, really good. Teddy. So when you look back at this core of juniors and the two seniors that you have, like, what are you going to take away from, from that group? Well, I think they set the standard. I mean, I think we've got to the final four, three out of the last four years, and I mean, most of the time, you know, schools just, they dream about getting Omaha. And we've had it, it's been four straight years, won a national championship. Like I said, been in the final four, three out of the last four. It's not easy to do. I think they've set the standard. And, you know, you know, uh, you know when, when we first got here 11 years ago, that was the goal was to get to Omaha and have the expectations. And now I think it's even a step further. I think the expectation is winning a national championship. And that's not easy to do. And that's a credit to our players and our staff. and. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's really disappointing right now. But we've got a really good core of young players on our team. Uh, we've got a really good recruiting class again. I think the, the outing by Jack last, uh, last night was awesome. I think Brady Smith has grown up overnight behind the plate. 
And, you know, with Tommy Mace and what Jordan Butler have been able to do um, on this stage, I think is, is a great foundation moving forward. Aaron. Coach, just a little bit of a, a follow-up on that. Um, you've got a team full of elite pro talent, and you won a national title last year. It seems like maybe some teams in that position could have rested on their laurels a little bit. But what do you think it says about you know, just the character of this group that they got back here, they lose the first game, they still make a run through the loser's bracket and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and fight to the very end here. Yeah, I mean, I, it speaks volumes of the competitive spirit of our players. And, you know, let's, let's face it, in, in any sport, when you got the bullseye on your back and you're ranked number one or you're supposed to win it, how many times have you seen where teams fall short of expectations? So, you know, and, you know, and seeing the disappointment on their faces at the end of the game when the last out, I mean, that's when reality really hits you right square in the face. I mean, you know, you see the kids are upset and, you know, my kids are upset. I mean, there's so many people that are invested. So, um, you know, like I said, you know, th there, there's been a lot on their plate, so to speak, you know, from day one. And um, they battled and they, they, they lived up to the expectations with, you know, as you know, Aaron, that, that, that's not easy to do. Okay, Grant. Uh, you and Dave seem to have a great relationship. As disappointed as you are with this, is there some level on which you can appreciate, uh, you know, their opportunity now? As, I'm sorry, as far as like to, what? You know, just sort of being happy for Dave, as disappointed as you are that, that Arkansas gets a chance to do this now. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I have the utmost respect for Dave. I consider him a really good friend. Um, I told him there at the end that I wish him the best of luck. Said he might give me a call um, over the next couple of days for maybe some advice or some questions, um, but I, I I really do like I like playing Arkansas because it's a it's a they're always well coached they they play extremely well and it's almost as if they're you know we're playing ourselves so and they're playing uh, you know at a very high level right now and I think getting Campbell to pitch it the way he did today um, obviously Murphy does his thing and obviously Knight's one of the best pitchers in our league so and with their offense and defensively. Um, um, yeah, they got you know they got a really good chance at this thing. Okay, we'll have time for one more question. If anybody wants to take it? If not, Sully, thanks. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. Congratulations Thank on you. a great season. Thank you.